So Paul and I have been living together now for nearly five months and it's been going very well but lately the rent has been a little tight uh, so the other day we actually brought in a roommate that's going to be living with us for a little while. And there she is. Say hi Corey. So some of you might recognize her from the background of my parents house uh, my par or the sound from the background of other videos at my parents house. Uh, my parents went away on vacation so I'm bird sitting for the week and um, fun fact about the bird, when we first got her, I think she's like 14 now, we, my sister named her Cory after Cory from the show Boy Meets World and we thought Cory was a boy for like a couple years until she laid an egg and then we realized Cory was actually Cory with an I at the end, not Cory with a Y. And right now we are headed to my parents' house to pick up their mail since they are away and we want to make it look like they are home. So yesterday was my last final and I am officially halfway done with law school and it's crazy how fast the time has flown by. I never told you guys what I did before law school. Um, you just know that I'm in law school now. So uh, I guess I figured now would be a good time just to give you a little background of what I did before law school, what made me decide to go to law school, and I'll try to keep it real quick. So going to law school wasn't always the plan. I graduated undergrad in 2012 with a business management degree, and like a lot of you guys, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I took the first job that was offered to me by an insurance company, and my job there was a liability examiner, where pretty much I dealt with car accidents, and it was my job to do an investigation and determine who was at fault. Uh, even though it wasn't my dream job, while I was there, my goal was always to work hard, try to stand out, and at least get the most out of it because every experience you learn from, and I knew it was the building block to whatever career I would eventually wind up in. So I did well there. I got promoted, I think it was three times, and the position that I ended up at was called a, uh, a bodily injury examiner. And in that position, what I did was handle claims where people got seriously injured, I would evaluate their medical records, do an investigation, and I would put a number on what their injury was worth, and then I would settle the claim with their attorneys. So I saw some pretty gruesome injuries, some people weren't actually as injured as they pretended to be, but I, I learned a lot from it, and it was during that experience that I, ha I spoke with a lot of attorneys, and that's when I really started thinking about law school. Another thing that pushed me to law school was prior to that position, like I said, my goal was to keep working hard. I didn't know exactly what that would get me, but I just wanted to keep moving up in the company and see where that led me. And at this point, I was really at the top before you get into like management positions. And all the supervisors I spoke to, they were not happy there and they were actually trying to leave. So I kind of felt like I was at the top of where I could be. If I kept working hard and doing well, I, all that would have gotten me was a position that I probably didn't really want. So I started losing motivation and I started to feel like I'm putting all this hard work in for something that I don't want. And that's when I really seriously started to consider law school. So this was December 2014. I thought about it for a few weeks and eventually I decided, you know what, let's just go for it. I don't want to regret not going to law school if I was thinking about it. I put in my two weeks notice and I started studying for the LSAT. Now the next LSAT was in February. This was only six weeks away and I needed to take it in February if I wanted to go to law school the following year because I didn't want to delay it a whole nother year. The LSAT's not a test that you cram for. It's something that you really need to study for several months. I didn't have several months. I only had six weeks. I took the first practice test without studying and did absolutely awful. I then studied full time for those six weeks, took the LSAT in that February, did better than I expected and ended up getting a full ride to the school I'm at now, as, along with several others. So, just to give you guys a little background, I, don't, I didn't have it all figured out. I still don't have it all figured out. Going to law school wasn't the plan all along. It was kind of something that I just wanted to do to prove to myself, to kind of give myself a chance to have a better life, I guess you could say. So just figured I would give you guys a little story, since I always tell you guys I'm in law school and never gave you the background of how I got there. All right, so now that I've been out of the house for a little bit, my dad repainted my room. This is the first time I'm gonna go look at it, so 
Let's see. It looks so abandoned. Used to take some selfies here. This probably doesn't mean that much to you guys because I never really showed my room. Because a few years ago I made a really stupid mistake where I, uh, I put a bunch of bodybuilding posters on this wall. So I don't know if you noticed, but I was always embarrassed to show the wall. So if I ever filmed any clips in previous videos from my room, I always tried to make it like in this corner over here where you couldn't see it. So you probably never really saw my room that much, but I figured I would show you guys. This is the first time I'm seeing it. It looks, looks good. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the commentary. Real quick, before I get into this, just want to know if you guys still find the voiceovers over the workout footage entertaining and interesting. Personally, I find it the best part of a lot of videos, but it seems like a lot of YouTube videos are straying away from it, so I just want to know if I'm weird by liking it, or if you guys like it too. You're also going to hear some occasional birds noises in the background, because I'm still bird sitting and she's very annoying. Um, but here is my latest overhead press workout. It is the fives week on 531. And basically I do a set of five, set of five, and here is an AMRAP set with 155 pounds. And I'm really trying on these AMRAP sets not to go to complete failure, which sounds a lot easier than it is because when I'm actually in the gym doing it, I really just want to push myself so badly to set a new record. But here you'll see I pause at the bottom for a good amount of time, really contemplating if I should do another rep. And I decide not to do it because that last rep I would have done would have been to failure and I'm just trying to avoid that. So after the AMRAP set, I don't know if you saw the last video, if you didn't you should go back and watch it. But I did mention how on the back down sets what I started doing is repeating set 2. But rather than doing set 2 for the amount of reps that I got, the first time on set 2 which would be 5, I repeat the reps with set 2 that I got on the AMRAP set. So since I did my AMRAP set with 6 reps, I go back to set 2 where I initially did 135 for 5 reps and I do 135 for 2 sets of 6 in this particular workout. And after I do overhead press we move on to basically an upper body hypertrophy workout where I hit my whole upper body. Um, what I wanted to talk about in this video is something that people ask me a lot about and it's how to stay motivated to go to the gym. And this, to answer this question I look at it two ways. The first thing that I do is I don't look at the going to the gym as an option. The gym is something that is built into my day just like going to school and just like going to work would be. Once you give yourself the option of skipping the gym, you're more likely to do it. You wouldn't give yourself the option of not going to class. You wouldn't give yourself the option of not going to work. So do the same thing with the gym. Build it into your routine and make sure you get to the gym just like you would get to work or you would get to school. Of course, sometimes stuff gets in the way, but so if you need to go a different day, push a workout back, that's okay. But don't look at it as an option because as soon as you treat it like an option, you might give yourself that option of skipping it. And like I said, I look at it as something I have to do. If I have a busy day, I'll go really early. Maybe I'll go late. I'll sleep less. But I always make sure that the gym is something I do because it's something that I build into my routine as a necessity. Another thing to motivate yourself is you really do need to enjoy it. So if you absolutely hate training like a powerlifter or a bodybuilder, I don't recommend you train like a powerlifter or a bodybuilder. I do think it's important to stay active, so I would try to go to the gym or not even go to the gym, maybe swim, play basketball, do something. But whatever you do to be healthy, be active, just make sure you enjoy it because if you don't enjoy it, you're probably not going to be able to do it long term. If your only goal is to have a good physique, you're probably not going to be able to do it long term. You generally, you generally, genuinely need to enjoy what you're doing because if you just have your, your eyes on the end goal, it's probably not going to work out for you. Um, another thing you could do is change it up. Like here you see I'm doing these flies. I don't really think flies are that helpful for chest. If you, if you ask me for chest advice, I wouldn't even recommend you do them. But sometimes, for me at least, I get bored doing the same exercises over and over again. That's why I stopped doing incline barbell. I started doing incline machine just because I wanted to change it up. And I think it's fun when you get bored of a certain exercise or certain machine. If you're lucky enough to have options, you could do another one. And that's something else that can keep you a little bit motivated to keep things interesting in the gym. Here I'm finishing up the workout with these overhead tricep extensions and the workout is coming to an end. If you guys enjoy the video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. It really does help me out. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.